So hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm working on as of late. Um, this looks like kind of a knockoff of a Pelican case, and actually it is. It's like a Harbor Freight $10 um, special, and I wanted to kind of promote my product, and I sent a DAC and all the parts needed to uh, Pulse Hardware, but unfortunately he never really, he opened it up in one of his after hour shows, but he didn't plug it in, or I didn't see him do it um, in any of his videos, or so the idea is if I want to grab people's attention and, you know, make it easy for them to try something out, then I thought this was the best way of doing it. You know, the kind of fake Pelican case, it's cheaper than a real Pelican case, obviously, but um, this is what I have inside. So basically kind of everything set up, um, ready to go. I am full, not completely done with it. Um, this is a custom PCB that I designed and I mounted an Arduino and a boost converter. Uh, currently it's using a 5 volt battery um, power bank and um, I actually 3D printed these little um, diffusers and adjusted this, the Arduino sketch so um, like it would be a little bit less bright because these things are really bright at full power. So diffusers help and make them look nicer, but also you get the, um, I, I can also lower the power usage by making them less bright and not blind people. So kind of wanted to give you a, you know, what's going on. So this is not the finished product. I'm still going to do something up here. I'm thinking about was doing something like a lithophane, which is a 3D printed, um, basically picture and backlight it. So it shows up, um, plugged into the DAC here as well. And I want to show you kind of how it works. So, you know, you flip the switch, make this kind of looks like a bomb, but it's not. And you press this little button, which is labeled mode. So you have power mode. And as you can see, it kind of goes through. And it's kind of hard to catch to really show you how bright it is because it is really bright. I turn off the lights. I mean, you know that. That really definitely shows a difference. So um, the idea is I wanted to bright enough that they could see it, but even this kind of rainbow effect is still pretty bright with the diffuser. I didn't adjust the brightness of the rainbow, but um, yeah. So that's the idea. I might put a few other effects, and I, you know, tell me what you think. You know, what other effects should I add into it? Um, so right now, it kind of just goes through a sequence of you know. Red, green, and blue, and then does the rainbow, and it doesn't interrupt it, but so it has to go through the whole cycle. And then I think after like a little timer, it's, this is a sketch I took, just slightly modified it. Um, so if turn the power off, so this actually kills the power altogether. I'm also I'm gonna get like a USB um, waterproof adapter and probably drill a hole and put it back there so. Um, it can be used by battery. So I'm thinking about also just including the battery and sending it to them so they have one less thing to do. If you make it easy so they just, and, you know, interesting enough, you know, they see this button, they press it, then, you know, who doesn't, who's not a sucker for buttons, especially geeks like us. Um, and if we take a look at the bottom, this was a kind of a fun part to fabricate. I'm sorry for the handy cam. Actually, sorry. So underneath it is literally just a battery bank and you can see kind of the crazy wiring. I basically cut a USB cable to supply power to the switch and then there's the Arduino and up here, right here is the boost converter. If you notice the uh, boost converter is actually upside down because I'm dyslexic and yeah, I flipped it upside down um, in the when I designed it and didn't realize it until after I was testing uh, testing the board with um, my multimeter to see you know if I had any weird things and I was showing 12 volt was going to 5 volts so that didn't make sense so there's this is for the button that plugs into there so there's nothing that's too complex and you know some of this wiring is not needed but I kind of want to have it mirror each other so, and then I also kind of fabricated these two pieces of wood. <laughs> Nothing spectacular, just to um, kind of hold it in place. I will be, obviously won't have um, 
electrical tape, but it'll be held in place by um, screws to uh, this. So the idea is you unscrew this first and you can remove those. This is actually being held in by this little convenient uh, screw up here that releases the pressure. And then I have to do this little notch right here so um, the button on the bottom could, wouldn't bump up against it. So other than that, I'm just going to put in that USB um, so I don't have to keep unplugging it. I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this. Um, but do you guys think I should add any weird different modes to it? I'm thinking kind of like a kind of a marquee, like where it goes from one to the X to the next. So instead of just like just a sequence, add another one which goes over here, then over there, the back. And then I'm gonna obviously do something with, uh, if I 3D print like something that fits right here that has my logo on it. Uh, the lithophane, I'm gonna have my like the RGB DAC and probably have have backlit um, logos of each of my, um, like of my four different retailers, which are Mod by Moz, Pirate Dog Tech, um, uh, Performance PCs, and also um, Titan Rig. Well, if I spoke a little long, this is off the cuff. Sorry for the handy cam. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are. You know, what else can I do? Um, and also, I'm planning to replace this with a little floppy drive power source when I get time. Well, and I'm going to make multiple of these. These take, it's surprising how many hours these take. But um, yeah, trying to do something from scratch that doesn't really meet a form factor. You have to get all your measurements right. Just screwing up one thing can really throw you off. And there's already a couple of things I would change if I could redo it all over again. But um, you live and learn. Um, well, thanks again for tuning in.